welcome to another video. In this video we're going to ask a question. Why do you celebrate Christmas? Now do not judge or condemn us. For what we're going to say in this video. But you see we was born into this world in 1965. And this is just as personal to us. As it is to you. And we are filled with emotions. And if you could only feel the heart of us. When we tell you this. The truth and how we grew up is all tied into this video. And the sweet memories. That we remember to this very day. But we have learned through our sweet mother and through God's word by the Holy Spirit. That over the years we've been on this earth. Is to be true to God of heaven and to his word through Jesus Christ. Now as we found and how could people ignore these facts. Christ never instituted Christmas, never celebrated it and never taught it. So, why was so-called Christians doing it? What about you? Why do you celebrate Christmas? And you so-called Christians are not true followers of Jesus Christ. If you follow man-made traditions. Now we call what it really is rebellion. Against God of heaven and Jesus Christ. Now let us make this perfectly clear. As we can. People are so deceived to the things of God of heaven. And people fall for anything that sounds biblical or things to do with Jesus Christ without even knowing the Bible yourself and if you did. People would not fall for all this junk these so-called preachers or pastors are telling you. Don't you understand they know how to deceive you. In a way that you will follow them and support them. Now if you only follow a preacher or a church cause your family member did. That is good in a way and bad in another. 4-1 it's a good thing that your family member introduce you the to gospel of Christ. But one thing is Christ has to be real to you. And you need to study the Bible yourself and get to know God of heaven yourself. And then you will know him personally of what he said and what he will do. This how your family member did it before you did. And number two you can't go by what no pastors or preachers say. Cause most of them will turn and twist scriptures around and make it say something. That God of heaven never intending for it to say in the first place. Now if you do not read and know your Bible and know the scriptures. Through the Holy Spirit. And then you will be deceived. And think God of heaven said something he did not say in the first place. Cause of some preacher or pastor. And believe us. When tell you we know about quit a bit of them all over this platform. Just by the way the talk. Now we're here to tell you the truth. And nothing but the truth from God's word the Bible. And the truth hurts and it only hurts cause you have been deceived for so long. And following some so-called preacher or a pastor who is only after your money and only wants fame for himself. Now we're not saying all are. But some are. And God of heaven lets know the difference between them. And this is the truth. And we're not here to mislead you or tell you lies. But it's time someone told you the truth. But if you search your own heart. Then you will understand the truth. And you shall know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Now back when we was 12 years of age, we always wondered what Christmas was all about. Where did it come from? Was Jesus really born on December 25th? Why were there so many blinking lights and brightly decorated trees if Christmas was all about a humble little baby in a manger? And why would everyone exchange gifts between themselves when wise men brought gifts for Jesus? Now we all anticipated Christmas because it meant a gift for us, no matter how small it was. My parents didn't have a lot of money in those days, so we would draw names out of a hat and buy a gift for one of our parents or relatives. Now we would have to ask for the money from dad and then buy a tie or a pair of socks or something practical. Every dime counted. All although we did not have much. Material-wise as I was growing up. And I was not spoiled either. Since I was the only child. But we all had love and thankful in our hearts of Jesus Christ and what the real Christmas was all about to us. As a family. With just the three of us. As I had no brothers or sisters. And my sweet mother almost died having me. Now we all marveled at friends and the people in the neighborhood. All the houses were trim in lights and decorations with and through everyone's home front window you could see a tree and lights. As we would take a drive to see the Christmas parade in town. And all the nativity scenes at every church we passed by. And we seen Christmas trees, six feet tall and taller all trimmed with lights, silver streamers, and a star or a angel on top. But our Christmas tree at home was very small, and placed on the floor beside the TV in the house and most Christmases. I remember as a child. 
My sweet mother would wrap up just empty paper boxes to look like we had gifts under the tree. And adorned with a few streamers and perhaps topped with a small star or angel. Now I had a Bible-believing sweet mother and she always pointed out that Christmas was more about Jesus Christ than anything else. And my dad always took us to Christmas Eve church services. Where I personally took part in the nativity reactment. Of birth of Jesus Christ. And afterwards the church gave a fruit bag to everyone who attending the service that night. And we seen all the Christmas movies that were shown throughout this time. On the 25-inch TV we had in the living room. Those were the best days of my life. Growing up. Back then people really cared about each other. Not like it is today. Some people we have known for over 30 years and went to school with are. Hypocrites now. Now Christmas then wasn't like a modern commercialized Christmas as it is today. Still, we wondered, why did people celebrate Christmas? And we know in our heart that Christmas means different things to people of the world. But the real meaning is only found in the Bible in the book of Luke in chapter 2 verses 2 to 18. And in the same area there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And then an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were very afraid. But the angel said to them, Listen. Do not fear. For I bring you good news of great joy, which will be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you, you will find the baby wrapped in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. And nowhere in the Bible does it say. When Jesus Christ was born and even in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 and book of Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. And in chapter 9 verse 6 and in Micah chapter 5 verse 2. Prophesy that Jesus Christ was to be born. But never gave a specific date to when that would happen. And people of the world have assumed that it was the 25th of December which is not right. Back in early America, the city of Boston outlawed the celebration of Christmas, 1659-81. Anyone exhibiting the Christmas spirit was fined five shillings. Washington Irving's writings, 1819, about a peaceful, warm-hearted Christmas holiday became life-imitating art. He reinvented Christmas in America. Finally, Christmas was declared a federal holiday in 1870. In the mid-20th century, commercialism began to dominate the Christmas season and businesses began advertising it in early December. Recognizing that early advertising worked well, U.S. retailers began to promote Christmas right after Thanksgiving. Today, businesses start advertising for Christmas in early to mid-November. Many complain that Christmas has become too commercialized and that Christ has been crowded out. But since Christmas celebrations are not mentioned in the Bible, and it was not observed by the early New Testament church, can we really say Christ was ever in Christmas? Here's the fact of the matter. Christ was never in Christmas. But so-called Christians get offended and upset when they take Christ out of Christmas and put Merry Christmas. People Jesus Christ was never in Christmas to start with and he never commanded his followers to celebrate it. And this is biblical if you would take time to read your Bible then you would know the truth. And the truth would make you free. Now as we studied the history of Christmas, we found that Christmas preceded Christ and Christianity by 2000 years. We found this pre-Christian holiday actually represents a counterfeit mother and child concept that comes from the ancient world. By Alexander Hislop, the author of The Two Babylons, dated 1959, pages 97 to 98. Now Jesus Christ would not have celebrated Christmas because it can be traced back to an ancient heathen practice, not to his birth. Now Jesus Christ taught his disciples to follow God's Ten Commandments, not man-made customs, and you say Jesus did away with the Ten Commandments well you better have some Bible proof and not so preacher's word cause you're going to be held accountable for your actions. Cause according to Jesus Christ he did not. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. And in Matthew chapter 15 verses 8 to 9 it says. These people draw near to me with their mouth, and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. And there are too many to list in this day and age. That people have broken. And continue to break. Now it's commendable that some want to put Christ back in Christmas, commendable but not scriptural. The fact is, Christ can't be put back in Christmas because Jesus Christ was never in Christmas in the first place. But people of the world will get so offended if you tell them the truth. Well my dear people you can hear the truth on this side of heaven. Or stand before the judgment seat of Christ and answer to Jesus Christ himself. 
And let's see if you can tell him why you did not follow what he said to do. And only concerned what the Bible says and not some so-called preacher. Deceiving the people every time most of them speaks to them. Now Christmas comes from Christ's mess, a phrase that means the mass of Christ. But in our study of the Bible we found that Christ didn't tell us to commemorate his death, as the bread and wine of the mass are intended to, in winter, but at Passover in the spring, as in Luke chapter 22 verses 15 to 20, and in 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7, and in chapter 11 verses 23 and 26. And he didn't tell us to celebrate his birth at all. Most people blindly follow human customs and traditions, saying in effect, don't bother me with the facts, my mind's made up. Let's face it. Most people don't really care whether Christmas is Christian or pre-Christian by a thousand or even a million years. They simply look on Christmas as a time to have fun, enjoy family togetherness, a good thing, have a few drinks, enjoy a good meal, pass out a few presents and then nervously wait for the bills to pile up in January. When that happens, it makes you wonder, so what's so happy about the new year, and if you need a holiday or celebration or death to bring your family together? Then that is a big problem within itself. Oh Christmas is such a happy time. How can it be all bad? Because my dear brothers and sisters. It what lies at the root of this is the problems. Satan using everything of God of heaven and he using it and imitates it for evil purpose. Don't believe it. Look around what has happened to the family. God designed to be between one man and one woman. And Satan comes along and imitates it for evil purpose. With same-sex marriage between two men and two women and call you a racist if you say the real truth about it. Now you see the point we're making here. We thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please watch out for more videos. On this subject coming out soon. Take care and be safe. God bless always is our prayer.